So welcome back to Matt Roberts Shows Around Effort Studios, part two. One of my favorite drum machines uh, is the Lin LM1, obviously because I'm a big Prince fan, and Gary Newman obviously used it on dance. It's just such a funky machine. This one's actually signed by Roger Lin, you can't see it, but and I've got two of them. This one's serial number 141, and the guy I got it off said it was Martin Rushton's, but I, you know, I can't prove that, but um, either way, it's a lovely sort of midway one without the scripted buttons. Um, again, my pr beloved possession, just so good. You just go. I've got the down tune claps. Just so funky for me. I mean, although it does sound instantly, you're kind of into that Minneapolis Prince thing. So it's very hard to use it without your tongue on your cheek. Uh, that's obviously no disrespect to any of that sound, but obviously it's there's certain instruments that are such signature sounds. We've just seen the Boxy Minor, the Gary Newman, the LM1 with Prince, and you know, particularly in his Prince's drum machine. And so if you down tune, you clap, and you clap. You know, it's instant um, Minneapolis, straight out of Paisley Park. Um, but I love them. There was only, well, there was about five, people said there was 500 made. There's about, I actually spoke to a guy called Bruce Forat. There's about 590 made, um, two of which are here in Effort Studios. The other one is a later serial number one, although it's not quite as nice as this. This has always been my go to machine. Um, there's quite a few demos on YouTube of the LM1, but I mean, to me, I just think. It's, it's a priceless, whatever Roger did in his garage, the way they wrote the software for it, it's just got no other drum machine. It just has that kind of groove to the sequence, so it's just got something about it that's incredible, so, you know. Just, I love it, it's just my, I think if this, uh, if this place was going up, the LM1 would be certainly my, uh, one of the places I think I'd try and grab if I could get it out because it is just again I, I make a lot of songs on it but it's very hard not to sound princey in Minneapolis but not that there's anything wrong with that because I absolutely love all of his productions and um, but it, you know it's very much his signature thing although Gary Newman was doing the get down tune claps on dance 1981 um, so that's a good, uh, a good other usage as well. But it's, uh, aside from those two artists, it's just a great machine. Um, I've got the Lin drum as well and the Lin 9000. They're all good. All this stuff, everybody, is only as good as the songs. Always remember that. If, if you haven't got the song, it's all the gear, no idea. I actually made an album in, in, as a poking fun at myself uh, and other people. Well, not just mum or myself, you know, all the gear, no idea. You know, to get the best out of any of this stuff, you've really got to spend time with it, have the musical talent, and the music comes from you. You know, if there's a power cut, we're back in 1843, we ain't gonna have our LM1 getting down, it's just not gonna happen. We're gonna be on our, we're gonna be on our acoustics and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, drum machine fans of the world unite. Lin LM1 is the my favorite ever drum machine. It's, I mean, listen to it. I, I urge you all to try and get one, I mean, they, Changing hands for about three grand now, but I mean, to me, they're kind of priceless. It's not really about the money. I mean, they're just whatever they are, whatever the, the sequencer on the Lindrum. Oh, look at this, it's terrible. Sequencer on the Lindrum uh, just isn't as funky. I know the Lindrum is great. Um, Lindrum used on things like, you know, Last Christmas, um, you know, Maniac. It's all that whole era. Uh, another track that um, is a, a non-Prince track, which we use the LM1, is um, You Wanna Be Starting Something, MJ. Um, that's LM1. Um, you know, from the moment it starts. It's, uh, Human Nature or Thriller is LM1, I think, unless Quincy's watching this and you want to text me and say it's something else, or it's a synth, or LM1 sounds on a synth clavier, or don't think Fairlight, like, Fairlights were out then, they were out in 78, but yeah, you can hear, you know, that, uh, 